Hello, my name is Evan Gore and I'm with Kenosha County Division of Health. I'm a public health nurse there. On behalf of Kenosha County Joint Information Center, we're back this week with more answers to the most frequently asked questions received from the public via our COVID-19 email inbox. You can send any of your questions to COVID-19 at kenoshacounty.org. Our first question this week is, number one, where does a resident get more current information beyond daily counts of positives? We have a dashboard on kenoshacounty.org. Click on COVID-19 information at the top of the page and scroll down to the Kenosha County COVID-19 dashboard. Here you can find information such as cases reported by age, gender, race and ethnicity, municipality, and cumulative cases by census tract. Question number two. Does Kenosha have access to rapid testing such as Abbott Lab tests? Yes, we have it at one of our hospital sites and are currently using it on people who meet specific screening criteria. Question number three. To me, Kenosha County numbers seem high compared to other counties and our rank per population. Kenosha County includes the state's fourth largest city and we also have the fourth largest number of positives. We are also on the border with Illinois, nearest to Chicago, which has a large number of cases, and Illinois residents work, shop, and travel through Kenosha County. The Kenosha County Division of Health is monitoring all positive cases. These numbers are not the only thing to look at because testing levels and collection kits still vary widely throughout state and the country. Question number four. What city officials can get more involved to spread the word daily via multiple media about our current situation and plead for Kenosha to step up more than we currently are? The health officer is working daily with multiple city officials and providing county board with updates weekly. These updates will now be moving from Tuesday nights to Wednesday nights. The city mayor does a radio spot on Monday and Thursdays. The Joint Information Center is sharing resources through the various organization Facebook pages, the Friday FAQs, the various press releases each week, and the County Hub website, which is updated daily. Question number five. Please share information regarding blood donations. According to the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, there have been no reported or suspected cases of transfusion transmitted COVID-19. Individuals are not at risk of contracting COVID-19 through blood donation process or via a blood transfusion. Since respiratory viruses are generally not known to be transmitted by donation or transfusion. Here is plasma donation information for those who have recovered from COVID-19. The partnering source is Versity Blood Centers of Wisconsin. The link navigates to a page with a form that can be completed online to apply to be a donor to apply to be a donor and for eligibility criteria. Donate plasma if you've recovered from COVID-19. They are seeking plasma donations from community members who have recovered from COVID-19 to help patients with severe COVID-19 symptoms. Recovered patients have antibodies in their plasma that can attack the virus and potentially help our sickest patients. Question number six. How do we know about antibody testing Question number six, sorry. What do we know about antibody testing and community testing? The FDA commissioner has stated that antibody testing being reviewed by the agency may not be as accurate as we'd like them to be. Most tests on the market have not gone through an FDA scientific review and we do not know the accuracy rate of these tests. Testing the entire community may create a false sense of safety and put some in danger of exposure with with false positives or false negative results. We want to be sure that if we tell a member of the public that they are immune, we are confident in that test. Question number seven. What is contact tracing and why is it important to do this? A good visual is if you line up a row of matches touching one another and light one end. If you remove a match anywhere in the line, you have a chance to save all the matches thereafter from burning up. Contact tracing takes the person who tested positive and allows us to follow and find people who that positive case may have been in contact with. We then reach out to those people who had contact with a positive case and provide them with information and hopefully prevent them from potentially exposing others to the virus. Here's a video link for that. Question number eight. 
When we hear that an employee at our workplace has tested positive, what can, what can we and our workplace do to prevent further spread? Our Division of Health staff has been working with employers in Kenosha County in order to keep our employees safe by providing education and directions. Follow CDC guidelines for social distancing and cleaning procedures to prevent further spread. Here is a link to the CDC guidelines and DHS guidelines for workplaces. Question number nine. Lastly, the Kenosha County Division of Health is still in need of cloth masks and are dropping these off to residents that are testing positive and are also close contacts to others. If you or a group you belong to can make these masks, please contact our COVID-19 email and we will co collect them for distribution. Sadly, as of April 17th, our community has lost five lives to COVID-19. This has raised some questions about what happens when there is a death caused by the virus. To answer these questions, we welcome Kenosha County Medical Examiner, Patrice Hall. Hello everybody, my name is Patrice Hall and I'm the Kenosha County Medical Examiner. Question number 10. Will the Kenosha County Medical Examiner's Office perform COVID testing on every person who dies in Kenosha County? COVID-19 testing will not be performed on every person who dies in Kenosha County. Each death is individually investigated and triaged. There are certain criteria that must be met before a decedent undergoes COVID-19 testing by your office. Question number 11. Can I catch COVID-19 from a person who has died of COVID-19? It is believed that the COVID-19 virus can last up to three days in a person who has died of the COVID-19 virus. Our investigators wear full PPEs when performing an investigation and when handling a decedent in order to mitigate the risk of transmission. Question number 12. Will a person undergo an autopsy if they have died of COVID-19? If a person dies, of confirmed COVID-19 or suspected to have died of COVID-19 in Kenosha County, their death is reportable to the Kenosha County Medical Examiner's Office. Their death will be investigated and our office will make the determination as to whether further testing or an autopsy will need to be performed. We work with the Milwaukee County Medical Examiner's Office who perform requested autopsies on behalf of our office. For any person who dies of COVID-19 in Kenosha County, the Kenosha County Medical Examiner's Office will be signing the death certificate. Thank you for joining us this week.